Alright, hello YouTube. I am due for another Wooden i3 build update. Happy Thanksgiving to all y'all watching. Um, I think last I said a lot of my parts came in the mail. It's just a matter of me putting it together. Got my power supply. Got my extruder. Nice and hanging out here. But um, this thing is... Uh, it is... Uh, playing, at least playing somewhat nice. The reason why the extruder is hanging down right now is because I haven't made a mounting plate for it yet to mount where it belongs on this type of extruder, the Wade's extruder. Um, what you can hear, I think you can hear anyway, are the fans going. I got two of them. One that will be on the uh, on the extruder. The other one is over here behind this wood over here blowing on the ramps board. Now, I just clicked this on before uh, after I started talking, and it's already to temperature. It takes about 10 seconds to get this thing up to over 200 degrees Celsius. That's pretty cool. Um, and the reason why is because I'm running 15 volts through here instead of uh, instead of 12. Also, I talked about you can hear the fans. These are 12 volt fans running at 15 volts, so they're uh, uh, zipping along pretty quick but so far they are continuing to be powered or continuing to move and I have backups or extras of both fans should that be a problem I may also try to look into putting a resistor or something that would absorb some of the voltage to drop them down to 12 volts uh, to prolong their life and to reduce the, um, the sound a little bit but anyway just to show you guys what's going on um, we we have movement in our uh, x-axis and it's pretty silent which is great pretty happy about that um, let's see here. a little noisy on the on the y-axis but it's working things might need to work themselves in a little bit uh, I also may have to do some adjusting on the bearing, the linear bearing holders underneath. Um, I think one of them is a little out of out of straight. Uh, Z axis is quite quiet, which I'm happy about. Just kidding. <laughs> I think I uh, dialed down the. Uh, I need to dial that in a little better. I think I dialed down the uh, stepper motor driver too low because I was trying to get these things to uh, be just at voltage and I think I did just a little too low on that one. But they do all work. Um, I also got the extruder going and I did some tests earlier. Um, what you can see there is the extruder going. I'm trying to hold the filament so it doesn't go all funny. I originally had it I was going off of the Folger Tech design and used their firmware originally and then found out that oh yeah when you use an extruder like this um, with two gears instead of a direct drive your stepper motor has to go the opposite direction so I had to go in and adjust the inverting of uh, the stepper motor drivers to true on that axis so that um, it would extrude down instead of pull up. So there you have it. Um, I'll get my Z-axis dialed in again. My handy dandy screwdriver. Um, but uh, next step will be the end stops. I don't have any end stops installed on this right now. Uh, I'll have a manual adjust um, Z end stop probably. I could do an auto level on this one too. I don't know. I may, I may not. It depends. I have to see what kind of um, mounting apparatus I find for this thing first, and then I'll, uh, I'll uh, work out the Z end stops a little more. And then I got, oops, hello. I got my uh, uh, my end stop holder back here for my Y, which is good. I like that one, so I'll install an end stop there run my cables. Um, 
and then the the X end stop I'm a little bit of a, uh, a little confused as to what exactly I'm going to do there yet because with a different type of extruder I can't just put my little clip on end stop holder over on this end so I'll have to get a little creative might have to make some parts um, not the end of the world I think I'd love to have an end stop actually on the trolley um, as opposed to mounting it over here um, that way I don't have to run another wire that just kind of hangs out they can all be kind of contained on here but we'll see um, so I'm gonna let you go for now and again another short short video but um, I figured I'd just do an update. I will show you. I have tamed the spaghetti mess over here. All right, we're gonna go for a little ride. There you go. Less spaghetti, more zip ties. So anyway, that's where it's at. Hopefully if you guys are following along or doing your own, you'll uh, have gotten to this step quickly. Um, once I get things where I want them with end stops and such, and my extruder mounted, and my hot end mounted correctly, I'll put my loom on here like everything else. Oh, real quick, real quick, um, if you did end up buying the stepper motors off of eBay from the source that I said in one of the previous videos, uh, I had to go through and took some time. I had the wiring hooked up incorrectly for the stepper motors. Um, the order that you have to hook these up is orange, blue, red, yellow. Um, that is the the color coordinating uh, or color order, um, and that's if you're looking at the plug from the power side pointing down. It goes orange on the bottom, blue, red, yellow up top. Um, each one of your your uh, each one of your stepper motors. Anyway, that'll make these work. Uh, Got to get my Z, like I said, adjust a little better. But these are rated 24 volt stepper motors. Giving them 15 volts, um, I think we're not going to have a problem. Uh, so, you know, fingers crossed. But uh, I think everything's going to work out just fine. So, all right, you guys have a good one. Happy Turkey Day.